Hey guys, my name is Eden and I'm one of the owners of Wellacy.com and welcome to the very first episode of our brand new segment, CBD Knowledge. On this first episode of CBD Knowledge, we are going to be discussing the differences between CBD isolate and full spectrum CBD. This is an extremely common debate and question among CBD newbies especially, but it's important information that all CBD users should know. So the first thing we're going to talk about today is going to be CBD isolate. CBD isolate is where all the cannabinoids and other terpene profiles are isolated out and then you're presented with just 99% pure CBD isolate. So CBD isolate can be used in a wide variety of products such as vape juice, tinctures, lotion salves, and edibles. There's a honestly CBD isolate can be used in any product category that you come across. CBD isolate has no taste or, co or color at all. It's it's a white powder like substance as you can see in this. It looks like white sand. So it like I said, it has no taste on it. So that means you could honestly put this directly under your tongue and let it soak there and then it's already activated. So you will begin to start to feel relief in about you know 15 to 20 minutes, just like any sublingual delivery. So, and being it as it's 99%, 99.9% pure, that means that 0.1 grams of CBD isolate equals 100 milligrams in strength. So if you're looking for an extremely accurate way to dose out your CBD products that you make at home, CBD isolate is definitely the way to go. So you'll honestly, when it comes to vaping CBD, um, you're gonna find predominantly it is full, uh, CBD isolate. Um, however, there are ones where there's full spectrum, such as with the Green Road CBD terpenes oil, which is vapable, but that has the full spectrum in it, which means it has all other cannabinoids, but we will get to that in a little bit. So finally, in regards to CBD isolate, if you're looking for a true THC free product, because you're afraid of failing a drug test, for example, then you would definitely want to stick with a CBD isolate based product because like I said, there's only CBD in it. There's no THC, there's nothing. All right, so now this brings us to the next segment, uh, full spectrum CBD. Full spectrum CBD is where there is all, can all other cannabinoids and phytonutrients present in the hemp plant. So that means there can be trace amounts of 0.3% or less of THC per volume. So if you're afraid of getting drug tested, um, there is a possibility of CBD isolate or CBD full spectrum triggering a uh, positive on the drug test, but it'll be a false positive at most. So that means that that you wouldn't be you wouldn't fail for THC, but. That's only if you're consuming large amounts of CBD on a day-to-day -day basis, such as 1,500 milligrams plus. So if you're really worried about, you know, failing a drug test, then just stick with the CBD isolate. But full spectrum has a host of benefits. You know, it has the, uh, it provides the entourage effect. So with full spectrum CBD, all the terpenes and other cannabinoids present all have a synergistic effect, which means they all enhance the benefits of one another. So CBD full spectrum can be found in a wide variety of products. You know, uh, there's even vape juice, like I said, like the Green Road CBD terpenes oil. Um, there's lotions, salves, uh, transdermal products. Uh, edibles are full spectrum. Honestly, all the product categories you can find in full spectrum. All right, so now that I've kind of, you know, shown you what a CBD isolate looks like, um, a full spectrum CBD product, you know, for example, the Wellacy CBD hemp oil tincture, which is available in natural or chocolate mint, this contains full spectrum CBD. So they, there can be trace amounts of THC, but that means there's also a host of other cannabinoids and terpenes, which all play off of each other to provide synergistic effects to enhance the overall benefits of the CBD. So now it leads us to which is better, CBD isolate or full spectrum CBD. So it was originally thought when CBD research was beginning that CBD isolate, the most pure, the purest form of CBD was the most effective. However, there was recently a study done in 2015 out of Israel that tested the benefits of CBD isolate versus full spectrum. And it was actually found that CBD isolate has a bell curve like effect. So over time, as you keep increasing the dose, 
uh, the effects and benefits begin to taper off at a certain level. Whereas full spectrum CBD, as the dosage increased, so did the benefits and effects of the CBD. So in turn, it, it's resulted that full spectrum CBD is better and more effective. However, that doesn't mean that CBD isolate won't be effective for you. There's a wide use cases of, for CBD isolate, such as for skin disorders, you know, the topical or for acne, CBD isolate is incredibly effective for that. But me personally, I use both CBD isolate and full spectrum. Oftentimes I combine the two to enjoy the benefits of both. All right guys, so now that you uh, are well aware of the differences between full spectrum and CBD isolate, that about wraps it up for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed this first installment to our new segment, CBD Knowledge. I would love to know what your thoughts are in the comments section below, and then I will see you guys on the next episode.